So in this video I am showing how I made these cute little mini sealer bows. So if you would like to see how I made them, keep on watching. Okay, so I have a new tripod. So I'm trying to figure out like the, <laughs> the setup. But I am going to make all my little notes I have. I decided I'm gonna make new bows for my shop because I have all this like patterned. Let me get it. I mean, this is just a little bit of it, but I have a bunch of um, patterned fabric and it's cotton, and I don't have anything else to make with it because I don't have enough to make, like when I did crossback shirts, I don't have enough to make those or. I don't really like the material for scrunchies. I have a couple of other ideas, but I think bows will just be the easiest since I've done it before. And I really wanted to make a, like a really small, how cute is that? Like this tiny little sailor bows. Uh, since I have a two and a half month old, hold on a second. Sometimes the lighting, the light above me is like uh, really yellow. But anyway, I thought that'd be so cute, like on a nylon. If I do it before this video gets posted, I'll insert a picture in the thumbnail or somewhere. So I was gonna do um, a tutorial, but I have, I think sailor bows are, um, I have the most videos for these bows. So I don't, I can link them below. I can kind of do a rough tutorial, maybe, because they're not, I don't know, nothing's changed. I do it all the same way. So, what I do, I'll do just like a quick thing and then I'm gonna cut up a bunch of fabric for this and then we'll go from there. So, what I do is I try and figure out what size bow I want this, this just this part to be this main part am I zoomed out too far just this part not the tails just this so I wanted it and it's trial and error <laughs> so I wanted it to be roughly two inches and it's about one and three-fourths so that's good enough so I get that amount of fabric. I don't cut that, but I have, so let's say this little guy. I'll have, say I want two inches. So I'll measure out two inches and then I'll add half an inch on either side. So if I'm cutting two inches, then obviously I would need three inches of fabric for this. And then I'd want to decide how tall I want it. And then I do the same thing, add half an inch on both sides. So for this one, I did, uh, 3.5 by 2.5 and then because I mean you'll see it in the video of how I fold it I do it all the same way just doop doop that in the middle that in the middle and then like that I don't know what I cut these out for but I did it a while ago and then this is trash and then I like when my the corners of the tails The corners of the tails meet this and I know a lot of other shops and other bow makers they make their tails longer so that doesn't happen with theirs and I have an example of let me see oh no I don't because all of mine do that <laughs> but you can make these longer or the tails longer or whatever but I just um for the middle I just uh, do the length about the length of that main bit and then how thick you want the tails to be and you have to consider your seam allowance and then how um, drastic and wide you want your corners to be. I'll link the tutorials down below um, if you're interested in that but I just felt three videos on how to do this might be a little much 
especially since I haven't changed anything. I have a new video, not a new video, a new bow that I'm going to do. Um, I have to finish making it. Let me, I just have to iron something real quick and then I'll show you. Now, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I wanted to do ones with a longer tail. So I'm going to... So I wanted to do something like a new style of bow, new style bow, because it's been a bit since I've done one, and I thought something like this would be cute, and then, let me see where the middle of this is. And when I fold it, I like when the seams go towards the back, so you don't see like the fold, like, so these folds are all towards the back. See something like that, I think that's kind of cute. I'm going to put this together and then I'll be back. Okay, so this is how it turned out. I just did, this is my draft bow, so it's not the fabric that I am going to use for my shop, but how cute. So I just did, what did I do? Ugh. Okay, so I don't know where the post-it is, and I'll find it later, but I don't have that much time to work on in my shop. So I know it's roughly about my, uh, my classic size hair bow, and that was for by five and I know that there's an inch difference between this small one and this big one and then I just measured the box that I have for packaging because I didn't want to get new boxes to fit the tails and I didn't want to have to fold them to get so you don't get that crease and it was a little over six inches so this is probably actually I have the tail bit well I don't have the length it's probably about 12 inches long. So I think that's cute. So I'm going to be making these two styles for my shop. I'm going to see if I can get you in a different angle too. So.
So the lighting's kind of crazy. I don't have a curtain, but I put like a poster. I don't like how that looks. I don't know where to put you guys. I guess I could just. I'll just <laughs> I'll just hold the tripod. So, um, that's gonna be it for this video. My poster is falling. I was gonna do. I decided I'm just going to sell those in sets. So I'm gonna make other bows, like my basic size, and a couple, maybe another kinds and put them together and sell them as a set so i wanted to get them in the shop this week but i'm not going to but so my next video will probably probably be me putting together those hair bow sets and yeah i think i'm gonna make my videos shorter even though i like the longer videos i'm gonna i'm my idea my what I would like to do is film a couple, for a couple days, like, because they only get, like, maybe 20 minutes to an hour a day sometimes to work in my shop. So, I'm going to, like, film maybe two days and then have a video and then film for two days, have a video, and see how that works with my schedule after having a baby and getting the kids to school and all that stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to see how that works. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. I have some other tutorials that are more in depth than the one this one was, and I can link them below. They're not my best videos, but um, they do have the most views and people like them. So I'll link them below and yeah. So thank you guys. My arm <laughs> is getting tired. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys hopefully in a few days with a new video.